To start this project off, you are going to do a two strand double cowhose hitch. And um, if you're not familiar with how to do a, a cowhose hitch, I will leave a link below for you guys that you can follow along with real quick to learn how. I am also using these one inch claw hooks. They are swivel and the trigger is on the side. So if you're interested in making this particular pull strap the way I make it, I did get these at PerryCordGalaxy.com and they are a very reasonable price. The first color that I'm going to be adding is neon pink and I am going to um, take my pericord needle, I am using one, and I'm going to go right through the two cow's hitches just like that, right in between them. And you want to pull it to the other side and you want to pull this cord now to the middle. The next color that I'm going to be adding is the teal and instead of going through those two cow's hitches, what you're going to want to do is you have these two middle um, cords right here in the middle that are going up and down. You want to just go through those two middle cords. So you want to go underneath them and through. And it's going to look like that. You're only going through those two middle cords. You're going to now pull this cord to the other side and also to the middle of the cord. Okay, I have all my cords ready to go. I also like to roll up my ends of all my cords. It makes it a little bit easier when you are pulling the cord through. All you have to do is pull the bundle instead of keep pulling that loose cord. It does make it a little bit easier. To start this project off, I am going to take my black cord on my right side and I'm going to want to go underneath the first cord that is like the body of the um, pull strap so you have these two cords here. I'm going to go underneath this first cord and then over this second cord. So I'm going to take my black bundle and I'm going to go underneath and you're really just going underneath up through the middle and then over your second cord. And you created a loop. Now you're going to take your black cord that is on your left side, you're going to go underneath your cord that you just worked with. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to go underneath the first cord, so the cord on the left now is the first cord up through the middle and then over that second cord. So underneath the first cord, up through the middle and over the second cord and then you have a loop on both sides. Next you're going to want to take your pink and you're going to go underneath all of your work and you're going to come up through these two middle cords so you go underneath everything and up through the middle and now you have this loop that's on your right side that you made. You're going to go down through that loop. You're going to do the same on the left side, just the opposite way. So you're going to take your left cord, you're going to go underneath everything, up through the middle, and then down through this loop. And now I'm going to take my teal that is on my right side and I'm going to go over everything around these two horizontal black pieces. So you're going to go over, down through the middle, and around and come up on your right side of the cord that you're working with. Take the one on the left, go over, down the middle, and around those two horizontal black pieces, and then come up through the left side. 
And you're just going to pull everything tight now. Once you get everything tight, you're just going to start the process all over again. You're going to take your black that is on your right side and you're going to go underneath the first cord, up through the middle, and over the second cord. You're going to take your cord that is on your left side now and you're going to go underneath the cord that you worked with, underneath that first cord, up through the middle, and over the second cord. And it's kind of like you have a triangle because you have the two loops on the sides. Next you're going to take your pink, you're going to go underneath everything and up through the middle. And then you're going to go down through that right loop that you made with the black. Do the same on the left side. just the opposite. So you're going to go underneath everything, go up through the middle, and then down through that left black loop. And now you're going to take your teal and you're going to go over, down the middle, and around those two horizontal black pieces. And you're coming, you are coming up through the middle and on the right side. So basically this teal, it goes just around those two horizontal pieces and then comes back out. Do the same on the left, but the left side. So we're going to go around those two horizontal pieces, down the middle, and up on the left side. And then pull it tight. Take your left, take your black that is on your right, go underneath the first cord and over the second cord. Take your one on the left, go underneath the cord, go underneath the first cord up to the middle and over the second cord. Take your pink and go underneath everything up through the middle. and then down through the loop. Do the same on your left side with the pink. Go underneath everything, up through the middle, down through the loop. Take your teal that is on your right side and you're gonna go over, down through the middle, and around those two horizontal black pieces and then come up on the right side of your cord that you're working with. Take your left teal and go around those two horizontal pieces down through the middle and then up on the left side and then tighten it up. You can see how the pattern is forming and I am going to continue doing this pattern until I'm at the very end of the pull strap. And once I get there, then I'll show you guys how I tie it off. But you're gonna just continue the same pattern all the way down the pull strap. All right guys, so I finished my pull strap and my camera was not on when I did the tie-off, so I do apologize for that. I can try and talk you through it, though. When you take your work off the jig, you are going to have a pink and black strand coming out of each side, and then you will have the teal on the top coming out. You'll have about a few inches um, of cord. What you're going to want to do is pull on everything nice and tight and then you take the two teal. You will have a small hole in between your two cow's hitches. You want to put your teal through that hole. Both pieces. They'll come out on the back side.
Right here are the two teals that were coming out of the front side that I pushed through the hole. And this is how they come out the um, back side. You're going to have so many inches left over. Um, it depends on how big you made your project and all that stuff. But you'll have a few inches of extra cord left over. You're going to want to cut that about a quarter or a half an inch. I would say a half an inch, um, especially if you're new at doing this, a half an inch from your work. You're going to cut the two sides first. You'll start on one side. You'll cut those two. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your end of the cord where you cut it. And what I like to do is push it out a little bit. This way it creates a really good cap on your work. Once you have it pushed out, you're going to lightly burn it. Very lightly burn it. After you burn it, you're going to take something like a butter knife, something metal, and you're just going to press it down and it's going to create a smooth cap. If you can see, I have a cap here and a cap here on the other side. And that's after I burned it and I pressed it down with the butter knife. And that's all you're going to do. Again, I do apologize about my camera being off. If you are to this point, you can use this with your dog. Um, it's fine just like this. I like to use um, some Gorilla non-foaming clear glue on these ends just to give them a little bit extra security. And I just like to put a little bit on the in the middle, like on the tops of those two teals. And then I'll take my finger and I'll just rub it onto the side caps that I melted. I'll let this dry for about four hours. It depends on where you live. If you have a lot of humidity in the air, it might take a little bit longer. Once it's dry, I'll show you guys what it looks like.